Hi, I'm Gabriel Romero. I'm a system engineer at Fortinet and uh, on today's video I'm going to show you how to uh, protect the uh, teleworker identity by using a 40 token mobile for uh, multi-factor authentication. So um, let's move on. On this slide I'm going to show you the logical design of the lab that is going to be used for this demo. On the left hand side we have our teleworker computer that it's going to be connecting to the uh, corporate network using SSL VPN in web mode. We also have the uh, 40 token, which is essentially the uh, soft token, the app installed on the smartphone of the teleworker. Right in the middle, we have our 40 gate, which is essentially a uh, radius client of uh, the 40 authenticator, which in turn becomes a radio server of the 40 gate. The 40 authenticator is binded to uh, Windows Active Directory via LDAP, which is, you know, essentially using Active Directory as a, a, a remote authentication server. On the internal network, we have an application server or a uh, terminal server in an application mode that will be accessed by the uh, teleworkers once uh, they uh, connect through SSL VPN. So let's uh, jump to our demo really quick here. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, with the 40 gate, the Edge firewall, or the SSL VPN server in this case. This unit uh, is using 40 Authenticator as uh, its uh, radio server, and um, we also have configured on the uh, 40 Authenticator the uh, 40 gate unit as a uh, um, uh, radius client. Uh, as specified on my previous slide, we have also configured an LDAP bind between our Fully Authenticator and uh, Active Directory. Uh, in the uh, Active Directory, uh, we also have uh, um, a group called HRSSL VPN that have uh, a user named uh, Bob that uh, is a user that is going to be connecting through uh, SSL uh, VPN. Another important configuration here is that on my 40 gate unit, I have uh, replaced the default uh, SSL uh, VPN uh, certificate, the ones that the, the one that comes from from factory, by a new certificate um, signed by a trusted uh, certification authority. And there is a good, uh, uh, a great knowledge base article explaining step by step how to uh, essentially replace the, the that default certificate by a new one. I have, uh, um, I will share this this link with you. Uh, so you can uh, apply it to a um, production environment. I'm going to start with the uh, with the demo. I want to show you. I'm going to show you how to uh, how is the experience from a user um, perspective. I have my um, SSL VPN portal on my left, and I have on my right the uh, smartphone. So you can see both uh, when I, I type in my um, username and password and hit login. I will get a, uh, a push notification request on my smartphone. So um, let me type in the username here and the password. When you click login, you will see I uh, will have, here it is, uh, the uh, push notification request. I only have to hit approve uh, on my smartphone in this case. And as you can see, I'm able to uh, complete the authentication process uh, using the, the push uh, notification. I will uh, open my uh, application server here and as you can see it doesn't uh, ask me for a uh, second set of authentication credential. It's only allowed me to uh, log in via a single sign-on. So um, that's it guys. Uh, that essentially is the uh, complete uh, the demonstration. Thank you so much.